That Do you want me to give you a couple minutes? I'm happy to. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle, and we're back with yet another episode of Make It Vegan From Home. Today I'm gonna be having one of my favorite people on the show, I'm super excited, my very good friend Joyce. You may know Joyce from her Zero Waste series with Ari, or perhaps you saw her meddling in my love life and setting me up on a blind date with Aria back in the day. Joyce has told me a few times that one of her very favorite foods is a fried chicken sandwich. So today I'm gonna be sending her what I think is the best vegan fried chicken sandwich in all of LA, and then I'm gonna show her how to make a homemade version for herself. And then she's gotta pick which one she likes the most. Let's go call Joyce. Joyce! My baby! <laughs> are you excited or are you a little nervous? Are you a little skeptical? You know me, I'm a Caribbean woman. I respect people's lifestyles. But my favorite food is meat. Just meat in general, four letters. Any kind of form. I'm even talking about like bull's ears or something. All right. I feel the same way. I feel, well, not about the meat, but I feel like <laughs> I need to respect what people love to eat too. So we're gonna meet in the middle with a little compromise today. I know you've told me like one of your favorite foods is a good fried chicken sandwich, right? Yes. From what I remember you were saying that Honey Kettle is the place where you find literally the best fried chicken sandwich in all of LA. Why do you say that? It's the flavor, the seasoning, the bread is slightly sweet, but not like too sweet like some other places. The way the, the crispiness and the well-cooked seasoned chicken breast with a thick fry and honey mustard. Are you trying to turn me right now, Joyce? I've been vegan for a while, but that sounds good. <laughs> Honestly, your vegan food is fire, so I actually have a lot of faith in you. Oh my gosh, I love the confidence. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I respect your love for a fried chicken sandwich, so I want to introduce you to the best vegan fried chicken sandwich in LA, and it's from a place called Doomies. I've heard of that place, I've heard of that place. I think I hear a, a knocking at your door. There might be a special delivery for you. All right, you ready for this? You excited over there, Joyce? I'm excited to try this vegan chicken sandwich. I like your attitude. This is from Doomies. Doomies is an all vegan comfort food place. So they've got everything from chili cheese fries to breakfast items. And what we're gonna be trying today is their number one top selling item, the crispy chicken sandwich. Ooh. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm. You can be honest with me, Joyce, what do you think? Mm. This is probably one of the most delicious chicken sandwiches. Oh my God. That has ever been vegan. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, ever? What I really like about this chicken sandwich is the texture, the flavor, the crispiness of the fried part. Overall, like I could taste the hint of tofu, but it definitely still has that flavor and that richness that I like in a chicken sandwich and the heftiness. I love a hefty, thick queen. I'm a thick queen. This is a thick queen. So I'm happy with this. Beautiful description. So Merle, how am I supposed to get Doomies if I don't live near Doomies? I got I got something good whipping up in my brain for you. I think I'm gonna find a way to satiate the need. Are you ready? Absolutely not. <laughs> if I can do it, I fully believe that you can do it. You're too kind to me, Merle. So Doomies uses a patty that is made from soy, wheat, and pea protein. But today, we are gonna be using mushrooms. Mushrooms! <laughs> I dropped your the mushroom. <laughs> your mushroom just took a dive, huh? Ah! It literally <laughs> fell apart. So these are my maitake mushrooms, but they're also called hen of the woods because they look like cute little fluffy hens. I mean, yours just skedaddled right off the old cooking board. Cutting board? That's what it's called. It definitely did. I'm a big fan. They're really adorable. They look like a pretty little flower. Sure, or a pretty little flower, yes. Okay, so we've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 200 degrees Celsius. Essentially, we have our baking sheet here prepared with a silicone mat. Joyce, you love to try to be zero waste, so you know, if you have that, great. If you just have parchment paper, that works too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna trim just the bottom half inch, but we wanna maintain the cluster on top. You basically just trim off the little edge there that's dirty and leave the rest. 
We love a dirty queen. <laughs> we sure do. Okay, I cut it. So Joyce, talk to me about your relationship with mushrooms. I think my relationship with mushrooms are a lot like my relationship with men. I think at first, you know, I was very into it and then we had a phase where I had mushrooms that were a little too old at a birthday party and I my brains out. But years have passed <laughs> and now we're working on our issues together to really just be the best relationship that we could be, you know? <laughs> Gorgeous. I mean, poetically put, honestly. We're taking your relationship to the next level today. All right, now what we're gonna do is take those cute little mushroom friends and put them on your baking sheet. Make sure they're nice and spread out. And then we wanna just spray her down like she's getting ready for a Victoria's Secret photo shoot on both sides. Okay, so I just spray these hoes? Yeah, get them. And then after you've sprayed them all, we're gonna add a, a little pinch of salt across the board just to salt these, salt these bad boys up. You know I like it well seasoned. Yep. So now we're just gonna pop them in the oven for like 20 minutes, and that's it, we just wait. You can watch my booty. <laughs> All right, now we got our little chicky poos out of the oven. They're looking pretty crispy on my end. What about you? Oh, they're looking very crispy, chef. Ready for the crisp. All right, so now we're gonna make our marinade. So you got your big old Tupperware bucket, whatever you're using. We're gonna start with three cups of almond milk. Great. And now, one and a quarter cups of pickle brine. Pickle. I just know this song about a pickle. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of hot sauce. Make sure you get all that hot sauce. I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. <laughs> and once you got your hot sauce in there, we're gonna do one tablespoon of salt. And then you know what to do after that. You're just gonna mix it up. Get some wrist action going. Wrist action. Yes, keep it loose. Oh yay, mix it, mix it, mix it up. All right, now toss your little chickies in, the, in their new little bath. We're gonna let these marinate for 90 minutes, but we want you to like kind of scoop around the marinade every like 30 minutes or so, just to make sure it's even. Amazing, I could use my zero waste covering. Look at you go, Joyce, you're doing the damn thing. You know it's a journey, not a destination. We're gonna just let these marinate at room temperature, so you're not putting it in the fridge. So the first thing we're gonna do is just make a quick little slaw. So we're gonna do some carrot, some purple cabbage, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and then two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, which probably will go all over the place, and that's all right. And then a tablespoon of salt. Okay, sorry, a teaspoon of salt. If it was a tablespoon, this would be the saltiest slaw I've ever had. Did you know that coleslaw is my most hated food? Most hated food. Merle, I love you so much that I will fight the forces <laughs> that tell me not to eat this cold slop. Yes, that's it. Look to the darkness within. Bring some light in there. <laughs> all right, when that's all mixed up, we're gonna move on to make the vegan aioli. I see aioli everywhere. I was like, this is just fancy white people mayonnaise. It's honestly just seasoned mayonnaise. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start off with a third of a cup of some vegan mayonnaise. And then once you got that in there, we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic. Look at me, mom, I'm a chef. We're gonna add one tablespoon of brown mustard. Salt to taste and hot sauce to taste. All right, now it's time for us to bread our mushrooms. Bread me, daddy. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right, these little chickies have been marinating for 90 minutes now. It's time to bread, baby, you ready? I love a good bread. Uh. <laughs> Great. Get uh, two cups of flour, if you could, and then we're gonna do a quarter cup of cornstarch. Here we go. Two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of paprika. For coloring. My mother always put paprika in her cooking because she said Haitians only eat the food when it's brown. Interesting. What's your favorite thing to cook with your mom? Rice. Why is that? Because she's so good at it. Okay. And I know it's like such like a basic thing, but my mom like seasons it and like it just has this really great flavor and it's just my go-to. And then you're gonna do two teaspoons of cayenne. Finally, one teaspoon of black pepper. Now you're gonna just mix all that together. And we're gonna do a little dance here with the mushrooms, okay? We're gonna take them out of the marinade. We're gonna put them in the breading. We're gonna put them back in the marinade. We're gonna put them back in the breading. And then we're gonna put them on your baking sheet. Wow, okay, let me make space on my deluxe island that isn't a bar full of alcoholic drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joyce, it's time for vegan trivia. Ooh! What percentage of chicken in the U.S. is factory farmed? 
80%. 80% you say? A solid guess, however, it is in fact 99.9%. So wait, all these f***ing farm grown chicken that I get is a lie? That's good marketing, Joyce. That's real good marketing. Uh! The scammers are everywhere, man, especially in this industry. So not only is factory farming incredibly cruel, to the animals and the workers, but the unsanitary living conditions of the animals creates a breeding ground for disease that puts us all at risk for more pandemics. I don't know about you, but I do not want more pandemics. No, no. Many factory farmed animals are treated with antibiotics to prevent them from getting sick. However, when that bacteria evolves and mutates, the antibiotics can become ineffective, which puts humans at risk to become unable to fight resistant infections. Oh God. Gosh. I know, it's kind of scary, right? I feel like that's the kind of stuff you don't normally hear about. Like, I feel like a lot of people when they're like talking about like the welfare of the animals, but you don't always think about like global health. Yeah. Listen, I know I can't get everyone to go completely vegan. So if you are going to eat chicken and we want to keep farms small and humane, reducing your meat consumption can help that a lot. Ugh. Preach pasta. That's my soapbox. I love it. Okay, Joyce, it's that special time of the episode where we have to work with hot oil. Boo! Yay. <laughs> so we're gonna fry our breaded mushrooms. I'm gonna lower mine in extra gently into the very, very hot, hot, hot oil. And then we just wanna let these fry for about two minutes on either side until they're golden brown. Ah! Ah! It's so hot. <laughs> I know, it's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Brown. That looks awesome. And then when you're gonna transfer it over to a baking sheet or a plate covered in paper towels, how's it looking? Are you are you proud with your end result over there? Yeah, for one of them, it's gonna be a chicken nugget sandwich, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so the last thing we're gonna do here is quickly salt our little chicken mushroom thingies, and then we're gonna assemble. Assembly! Okay, so the way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna smear some of this aioli right down on my bun, it's however much you want. I'm gonna add some pickles on there, and then find your prettiest little princess that you wanna eat first. I'm gonna go for this little, this little lady. All right, now the coleslaw. Now let's be real, you don't like coleslaw, and I don't know how much of a coleslaw this really even is. It's not coal, but it's a slaw. <laughs> For sure. So add as much as you want on there. You know, it just looks pretty. It'll add a nice crunch. Mm-hmm. I love a good crunch, don't you? You know I do. And then I'm gonna top the old top hat right on there. Damn, that is a stacked sandwich right now. What a journey we've been on together. In front of you right now, you have your favorite fried chicken sandwich from Honey Kettle. You've got the one we ordered earlier from Doomies. And then of course, you have our homemade version that we just made together. I'm gonna have you try the Honey Kettle one that you know and love, just to remember what your idea of a 10 is. Mmm. Mm. Oh, Honey Kettle. Do you want me to give you a couple minutes? I'm happy to. So would you say that's your idea of like a 10? Definitely. So next, go ahead and take a bite of that Doomy sandwich from earlier just to remind yourself what that one tastes like. She's thicker than the honey kettle, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that one packs a wallop. What I love about the Doomy's one is that it has the crispiness, the thickness, and it's not trying to taste like a chicken sandwich and therefore it makes it like almost better than a lot of the originals. All right, interesting. And then finally, it's time for us to try the homemade version that we made together. I'm gonna do this with you. Okay, I'm excited. All right, you ready? Yes, wow, this is a messy one. All right, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my God. That that's good. <laughs> that's Sorry, flat. that's good. This actually tastes really good. I really like the crispiness. The seasoning's not too intense. You might have made me a vegan coleslaw queen because this is the best coleslaw I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> it's spicy, it's sweet. This is really good. Like, I'm actually like shook. I know it's time to make the final choice, but I mean, the Doomies has the fullness, the crispiness, the mayo. I mean, Doomies definitely hit all the marks of a great chicken sandwich. But that homemade chicken sandwich was an underdog that came for the edges. I'm talking about not only crispy, not only well seasoned, but has the spice that a good chicken sandwich needs. But I think I've come to my final decision. 
I'm scared. I rate Doomies an eight out of 10. Oh man, that's a very good rating. I rate the chicken sandwich a 9.5. And the reason why I did that was because the Doomies is so heavy. But this one, the texture of the mushroom is really close. It definitely has that push and pull of eating meat. The coleslaw with the hot sauce really made it the big contender. We love a plot twist. The slaw came through in the, the slaw end. The slaw came through for the edges. Oh my gosh, Joyce, thank you. I mean, I really, really appreciate you being so open-minded. Of course, I love you so much, Merle. You're amazing, and anytime cooking with you, I know it's gonna be a blast. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching today. Please let us know in the comments below if there's anyone you'd like us to bring onto the show, or if there's a specific dish you would like me to make vegan. Bye! Bye.